but let's see as Fitzroy prepares to play its final game in Melbourne. The opening bounce. Can they win it out of the centre? No, they can't. It's ripped out of the middle by Broderick. He tears it onto the left foot. Goes quickly inside 50 towards Richardson. He gives away a little ground. A little chip is short. It's going to be OK. Picked up by Campbell. Wayne Campbell heads for home with a left foot kick for goal. And puts her behind. So the Tigers very rapidly into attack. And quickly opening. No rain as yet, but it is very overcast as Pike appears to bring the ball back into play. <laughs> she almost went over the mark. And Miranda got a hand to it. He was unable to complete it. He's able to keep it in play and paddles it along, trying to accommodate either himself or Matthew Rogers. And a bit of feeling. Brett Chandler. He's got the job on Miranda, Sandy. Yes, I'd have to agree with that kick-off then, Sandy. It was uh, looked to me to be clearly over. Gale at the back, taps it over brilliantly. Nash taken out of it by Pike. Picked up brilliantly also there by Wharf. Has to go to ground. Carter comes back to help out. Paxman can't get hold of it. Now Johnson caught by Campbell. They're trying to work them way out of trouble here. Wharf just slaps it away towards the line. And picking it up and covering it beautifully is Nash to Miranda. Back to Broderick. And kicks on the outside of his boot cleverly to Charles. Charles runs. Sets it up for Richardson. It's a great kick. It's a fantastic mark. Well, it looked a bit iffy to start with uh, Richardson. I think he was going to get there, and Bond was the player that was free in front of him. And I expected the spoil to come from Boyd. And Bond would have been in good position to pick up the crumbs, but Boyd couldn't get a hand to it. And in the end, a terrific mark by Richardson. So, Matthew Richardson. Remarkable recovery after that knee injury early last season. Kicking for his 79th goal, which is a great reward for this terrific young player. Unfortunately, pushes it to the right and misses a lot. Paxman to bring it back into play. Just got his century. Game number 101 for Stephen Paxman. Kicks towards the half-back flank. They're not out of trouble yet. They tried to push it down towards Knights and Gale, who's also there. Atkins coming in over the top and the umpire comes in deciding upon a bounce. Sandy, uh, I was actually at this game when they played last time at the Witten Oval round six and it was only 20 points in it at half time. Fitzroy were very competitive that day. Richmond got on top in the second half. Yeah. They've got a chance to clear this time through Rombotis to the outer side. Finds the boundary line in front of Miranda. John Rombotis, one of the few, in fact one of only four Fitzroy players to have played every game this season. They've turned them over and looking for the right formula and of course haven't been helped by injuries. Rombotis in there once again. He's at the bottom of that pack. A bounce on the outer side. Crowd has built up considerably, which is great to see. Slapped forward by Knights towards the half forward line. Flicked back again towards Campbell. He's taken out of it. Also under pressure was Hawking. Atkins can't take it cleanly. An attempt at soccer off the ground only goes as far as Bond. Gets a short little kick wide towards the wing. Gale beaten for it by Manfield. Overrun. Chance for Broderick to paddle it out. Oh! Some good heavy work coming on there. And it's eventually over the line on the outer side. Rombotis. Damien Ryan feeling plenty. And a throw in. Thrown in, centre wing. Charles and Primus. Primus tries to grab it out the air, does. Tries to soccer it off the ground. Broderick working hard in underneath. In the back there to a Fitzroy player, not seeing Dent. Gives it off brilliantly. Clever play by Rumbotis. Sets up Fitzroy. Big long kick into the forward line and in front tape. Paid the mark, called play on. Callaway. Charles is caught. Here's McCarthy. Swings round. Has players running for him. Richmond get back there in numbers. And Tate tries to keep it inside the line but can't. So out of bounds. And a throw in in the forward pocket. As we said, an overcast day. Expecting some rain later. And appear to have reached the expected top of 19. Broderick is picking up a lot of touches early on in this game. Gives it to Bond on the half-back flank. Drifts it to centre wing and Rogers. He's away. 
Another left footer towards Knights. Oh, they're looking all right now. Knights goes in towards Richardson, and that's too easy. Terrific running by Knights, and the kick coming in from Rogers just spot on. Didn't have to change stride. And then once Richardson has that sort of space to run into, there's the kick to Knights, and he just turns Richardson into that space. Well played. So he attempts again his first goal for the day. A floating drop puck. I think that's questionable too. Another behind. I didn't think it was a particularly purposeful kick. He really just uh, jabbed at it. No matter where you are, you've got to follow right through him. We saw with his previous kick. That breeze is quite strong at times, although as Russell will probably tell us, it's quite swirly on the ground. Is it uh, swirling, Russ, down there? Yes, yeah, Sandy, look, it's very swirly, especially in front of the southern stand and also in front of the members here. There's a lot of rubbish on the ground and it's going nowhere, like a lot of willy-willies, the wind taking it everywhere, so it's very difficult to judge. Well, Atkins uh, found that with that kick out because Rogers has a chance to put Richmond deep into attack again. The drop punt is long towards Richardson. <laughs> Ominous the signs, he plays on, he kicks for goal. And he's put through another one. Uh, hitting the woodwork. So they're piling up the behinds early on. Yes, and Fitzroy getting caught out there with the kick out. Not uh, particularly good. Boyd had made room up the ground and couldn't get back in time to cover Richardson. Atkins this time comes the members' side. His target is Primus. Belted clear by Charles. The big man has time to get it out towards Broderick again. He goes to the boundary line and Bond. Bond has got Knights. Just about down to the 50. Matty Knights. Clever little step pass is OK. Finds Chris Nash. 35 out, but a tight angle for Nash. <laughs> Matty Knights just fudging trying, a bit. <laughs> trying a con job. Well, it's worth a try. And it didn't work. So Chris Nash. Can he break this run of three behind so far? No, he can't. There's number four. And that's the margin they lead by. Four points to zero to Fitzroy. So they've withstood this so far. I guess Richardson had the really good shot, didn't he? From 30 metres straight out in front. The other three have been from reasonably tight angles. And this interesting ploy of Atkins picking out, uh, kicking out and then having the man up on Richardson. So if the ball comes back quickly, they're in all sorts of bother. Oh! Johnson, <laughs> nearly. Primus gets it to Pike. They're running now. Runs to 50. He'll have a shot for goal. Hooks it back to the front of the square. It's a very poor kick indeed, really. And just a point. So Chris Johnson <laughs> bought this crowd, which I think, Sandy's now probably over 30 odd thousand. Yeah, it was a great leap, but in leaping and not taking the mark, is that a free kick? Yes, he does do that, doesn't he? Puts his hands on his yeah. shoulders. It's certainly his trait. And uh, occasionally, uh, if the umpire sees it, we'll ping him. First score on the board, though, for the Lions. As Campbell brings it back into play, it's a good mark by Gasper at the back. Now he's got Tigers streaming down towards centre wing, and Knights, Gale does the shepherding for him. He gives it away to Michael Gale and says, thank you, Benny. I'll have a shot for goal, and he does from 40 metres out. A floating punt is good. Tigers are on the way. Terrific setup and well done, Darren, Darren Gasper. Terrific mark over the back. And again, the running players from Ripton just giving him an option to kick to. Knights was that player initially. He's hobbling a bit still, that ankle. And the run of Gale. He wanted to go short to Richardson. He was covered. So got himself inside. Finished off well. For the Tigers, by nine points. Really going to this first quarter. Ball favours Charles, tries to build it away straight to Atkins. Kicks it very high and wide. Chases on now. Port Cassidy gives it off to Chandler. Chandler goes back inside. Tape in front. Malloy from behind. Can't get hold of it. It's great to work to Boyd. Boyd unloads and misses. So a change has been made. Brad Boyd now playing on the baller up forward. Second point to Fitzroy. Yes, Mellington's now gone down, Mel, to uh, pick up Richardson. Predominantly a Ford Mellington. Eight points the margin. Campbell's away on the outer side towards Rogers. 
Looks so dangerous when they start running. Just starting to build towards September, but of course they've got next week to contend with as well. Wayne Campbell saying, uh, "Must have caught play on and, and run taken it out." Exactly. So a throw in on that outer side. Charles jostling with Primus at the back was Bamford. Back towards Gale. It's Michael Gale. With him is Kellaway. Gale on all fours almost could have been a leg. Players allowed to go on. Taking the hand passes, Ryan. Back towards uh, right half forward. Charles is there if he's needed. Nate says, I won't worry about you. And he doesn't. Perfect kick. If it wasn't a mark, it's a definite free kick. Some heavy work on Rogers. One of eight players for the Tigers who have been on the job every week this year has not missed a game and it's a difficult situation you're in as a player when that happens the ball goes over your head to get back and make a contest without interfering with the player who's setting himself for the mark that was pretty untidy by pike anyway rogers for his first he's kicked 10 for the season 10 16 in fact to his name and has been very busy early four marks four kicks from 46 meters pretty good looking kick it's another one rogers gets his first and the tigers sneak away two four to two behind you see running capacity at the moment it's just uh, finding fitzroy out they're just unsure of their matchups and that's terrific play by nace just to keep his feet control the football and there's a bit of untidy work from pike Back in the centre. Margin now 14 points. Charles just puts it down just near the Ooh. player's legs. Socket off the ground. Bond. Favoured position. Nash does very well with the hands to Campbell. Knights under pressure here. Go, sensed it and went back to Campbell. Just missed. Now has player in support. Knight. Uh. Oh, Powell, that is. This at the Knights and excellently knocked off the ball as he kicked. And Martin Pike will take the free kick. So Fitzroy under pressure. Some good work out of the centre. They've really gone forward with the three pushes out of the centre so far. And have spent a fair bit of time with the ball in their forward line. No pike. It's high kick. Primus in the favoured spot. Should mark it, doesn't. Comes to ground. Given off to Manfield, to Atkins. Atkins with a lovely kick. Gave his player every chance in Hawking. Take first to recover, goes back, needs support from behind, got it in Miranda. Now chased by Hawking, hits his kick underway. Gale, oh. metres in the clear. Oh, Rogers, this is a soda. It'll come to Campbell, to Rogers, will probably get it next. He wants to uh, play on. No. He has. And just over enthusiasm there from Wayne Campbell. All he had to do was just dwell and hold the footy. They haven't cleared the area. Paxman has to stand, then deliver. Kicks it very high. Miranda. Goes early, not taken over Chandler. Gale gives it off to Broderick, swings the ball back around. Johnston comes at Knights and gives the free away. Well, the umpire saying there, Vince Sershia saying that he was held on to. I would have thought initially it was too high. Yes, yeah, so I've seen him in that situation many times, Chris Johnston. He's taken a big jump. He just, the ball must have wobbled around in the breeze. Yeah. I agree with you. I was watching Matthew Nice before, Ross, that he just really does a bit of a wobble, hasn't he? Just a little bit of a wobble. Obviously, it's still uh, some soreness there, but he's getting around the park all right. At his best, a beautiful kick normally. Kicks, just flights it across Richardson there and under pressure across the line. So it's 2-5 to two points. There's a definite limp there. Just under 11 minutes remaining. First quarter, 15 points the margin. Favouring the Tigers. Atkins. To bring it back into play. The Carter lead is ignored. He elects to go long down towards the centre of the ground. Chandler. Well, they're not out of trouble yet. Melican gives it over the top towards Atkins. Also under pressure, but gets it towards the centre wing. And the diving mark taken by Scotty Bamford.
in just his 21st game. So many inexperienced players in this lineup. Looking for a new football home as Charles plays on quickly to Callaway. Another one to Gasper. They've got them streaming down the outer side. And that's where he heads towards Jamie Tape. Tape is clear. He has a look down towards Richardson who comes steaming out and marks 55 out. Wants to go on with it. Bond is in the pocket. And did not appreciate the attention he received. He's been a bit of a goal kicker this year, Chris Bond. 17 coming to this game, just with the three last year. Oh, that's untidy. To Rogers, a goal. So Rogers gets his second. And ominous signs now for Fitzroy. Ross, uh, at the start of the year when Mick Noonan had him, he, he tried to develop this run forward game and set it up with great skills. Soon just turned over like that right. situation. It's a cakewalk back, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So you've got to be very prepared. If you're going to get the ball off and run past or through a line that you hit your target, if you don't, then the ball turns over so very quickly you're out of position. And as we found out there again, Richmond players just taking full toll of that. Centre bounce. Primus gets a big run out of it, but they don't win it out of the centre. Broderick's picked up a lot of touches earlier. By the tackle, that was good. Knight's there also. To ground goes Nate, trying to lock it up there. And the umpire letting it go until eventually deciding that he will come in for a bounce still in the centre. Brett Chandler picking himself up. Look at those marks in the first quarter. 19-3. to three. Still basically in the middle. Charles again has battled with a Primus but can't take it cleanly. Bamford's in trouble. He loses it to Broderick. Broderick changes direction towards Rogers. Gee, those two have been busy. Tumbles a punt up towards half forward. Chris Johnson is there. And he's going to have a red hot go today. He's given away a free kick. And he is not at all happy. Just tries to pop it over the top to Benny Gale. Goes back to Michael. Here's an opportunity now for the Tigers. Here comes Richardson. One, two grabs. At this stage of the game, Sandy, to show uh, Richmond's dominance, they've almost had 40 more possessions. Richardson, Detroit. five kicks, five marks. Yes, it's uh, no complacency anyway by no. Richmond. If there were any thoughts about that. Here's Richardson from 46 metres. Drop punters away to the right. That's behind number three for him. And three six. Plays two behinds. Could be far worse. This is better. They've found Mellington from the kick out. Atkins is there. He's ignored. Now goes much longer. So he's a big pack of players here. And Richmond are winning this. Tawny. Anything in the air, Richmond's seen to grab hold of. Kick forward, Gale. Yes, you almost say you get the feeling, but uh, I've seen him do this before, Fitzroy, and then they've actually come back. That's a beautiful kick to Richardson. They've just showed a bit of fight. Um, it's just a matter of getting that first goal on the board because they can run and kick. Richardson not confident. This time he just kicks it and puts it to the front of the square. Over the back tape, dents there as well. Tape tries to knock it in and then carried over the line by Baldwin. So a boundary throw in, forward pocket, Richmond into attack, where they have been for most of this quarter. Jason Baldwin, one of the veterans of this side, 125 games. Look at those kicks, as Ross said. Tigers getting plenty. Campbell looking for another one. Gives the hand pass out towards Broderick. From a standing start, he pumps it high towards Bull Ford. Guess who at the back? He looks oh. around for confirmation from the umpire and doesn't get it. So away goes Martin Pike. The Lions for the moment out of the danger zone to the outer side of the mark taken by Matthew Manfield. Manfield kick smothered. Oh, this is oh look at this. Tidy. Rogers, he can run and kick his third or give it to Richardson. He's got two options. He's got to make up his mind now and does. So he kicks his third and the Tigers have got their fourth. Yes, and again another skill error there. The kick coming off half back smothered. Forward you go as Richmond do, and Rogers just running into space. Did the right thing too. Had a bounce, tried to draw Mellington. Just sat beautifully for him. Here's the bounce. Waited for Mellington to come. He sat back. 
did the right thing. Three goals to Matthew Rogers. Had only 10 for the season. Primus beaten by Charles, but taken away by Atkins. Here's an opportunity now for Banville, but he's caught. <laughs> and has been pinged. By guess who? Broderick. 37 touches last time they played, Sandy. Got three votes. Six kicks so far for Broderick. Should have had Nash, who's given away a free kick for holding. No, it's not going to be paid. So McCarthy plays on, does get the hand pass away. It finishes with Rowan Wharf. Wharf can bounce his way up towards the forward line, chops his way through, then kicks up towards right half forward flank. Not a good kick. Kellaway, a chance to clear. Pops it over the top, and the defence doing it well. Here's Broderick again. Kick number seven. Finds Wayne Campbell. Short little chip is OK for Bond. <laughs> There's loose players everywhere. Knights. Well, Pike, in fact, intercepts on that occasion and takes the mark. And he comes clear. Pops it over the top towards Scotty Bamford. One bounce, and Bamford will look down towards the half-forward line. Still waiting for their first goal. Hawking can't take the mark. The Tiger defence is resolute. Bond has it on centre wing. Gives it off back inside to Campbell. Gee, really too many easy kicks out here on a footy ground. Big, long handball in the centre. No one's on Rogers. Got no idea who's on him. Kicks and gives it up. Paxman takes off. Caught. Has to unload it. Goes to Johnson. Half back. Now looks. Kicks. And finds Atkins. Has a player running through in Ron Botus. Now he is clever. Can he use the footy? Runs himself out of room and then has to kick under pressure. So therefore the ball falls and a free kick given away. So once again the use of skill by Fitzroy just not going as Cassidy gives it away. Miranda is the target. It was pushed in the back and he'll be free kick. It's only the fourth free kick for the game, Sandy, and they've all gone to Richmond. Rombotis a little too enthusiastic. Miranda's kick down towards uh, Benny Gale. Applying the tackle was Powell. Johnson trying some fancy work out the back. Has it stolen? An opportunity for Powell. Chip in towards the forward line. Rogers, another possession. Hand pass a little too quick. Trying to chop his way clear as war. And does so. Comes through half back. Looks towards centre wing. Gale shows courage. Backing into the pack and he's still standing up. Well done, Michael Gale. Off to Broderick. Broderick gives it to Gasper. And the Tigers are looking OK. Into the half forward line. Richardson, this time well spoiled. Primus in front of the pack. Leaves it for his teammate. Bob, but he gives it away to Campbell. Campbell chips in towards goal. And Richardson marks on the line. But he'd gone over. And it's one behind. Four seven plays two behinds. Eleven effective scoring shots to two. Yes, it's an absolute domination here by Richmond, and Fitzroy continue to play that attacking style game. Kick out, Primus. Looks at the ground. This is Paxman running through the centre. Nice direct play. Need a mark at the back here. Contest at least. The ball falls over the back. Richmond there in numbers. Eventually Kellaway. Gets it out to Ryan, and That's once great. again, oh, it must be tight. Rogers has got time to drop it, and then give it oh. to Gale. Oh, Plays off quickly to Powell. Powell, the point kicker, has kicked another one. Gee, he really has had a lot of shots at footy since he's been in it, and uh, at goal since he's been in the game, and uh, it's been a lot of points, and disappointing, and uh, gee, where's Rog Rogers? Yes, well, Pike uh, is his man at the moment, Melbourne. As you know, uh, Pike's a very attacking sort of player. But it's all very well to be attacking, but if you're not getting the foot in your opponent, he's just sort of picking up. 14 touches on a half forward slant. Closing down. Matthew Dent brings it back into play. And this time, Primus in front takes the mark, plays on quickly to Chandler. Running away from Knights, he gets his kick up towards half forward. We've got just under three minutes remaining in this quarter and Fitzroy is still looking for their first goal and they don't look like getting it at the moment. Miranda, look at this again. Here he is once more. That's 50. No, said the umpire. So Powell goes back and kicks to half four. Now the margin, gentlemen, I'm sorry to say at the moment, could be 50 or 60 points. It's not, but it could be. Should be a lot better than what it is, sir. He is.
So Benny Gale directly in front. Has 28 goals for the season. 28-22, so he's marginally better than a 50-50 chance. This for number five for the Tigers. Well, that's a very poor kick. I see any indication there. They've been inside 50 17 times, Richmond, in this quarter. Fitzroy eight, but they really ain't just got over the 50 meter line. They've really not looked dangerous at all. But 17 times, the shots of goal as well. They should be further ahead. Dent again. This time goes straight down the middle and should find his big man. Charles, I think, almost gave away a free kick, but the umpire said play on, so Primus does. And he bounds his way down towards the half forward line. Does it skillfully. A chipping towards uh, centre half forward. That is going to be okay. Brad Boyd will have a shot. So Boyd, at last getting into the action, started at the other end of the ground. Let's see if he can get their first goal on the board. Directly in front, 46 metres out. Oh, looks okay. They're away. There's not been said all you need sometimes just to get that goal on the board, give you some sort of momentum. And boy, it's probably their best chance going forward because he can take a grab overhead. And Prime is showing some agility here. It's a good uh, sense, just keeping control of the football, not giving it off. And that awkward kicking style found its target. So you can't you see the pundits, Ross, yelling, kick the ball long from fullback, <laughs> and it can go quickly to centre-half forward and kick a goal. It's a simple game, footy, isn't it? Hopefully someone can take a catch. <laughs> yes. Back in the centre, Primus. Charles was good then. Sets up Roderick. Off to John uh, Rogers. One-on-one -on -one contest at the back. And... Eventually, Millington taps it over. No boundary throwing. 4-9. Plays 1-2. And we're down to the last minute. So just 25 points, and it's, they've really controlled the play, Richmond. And probably 25 points is not the best result they would have wanted. It's a fine result, but not the best. Dent wants to give this off. That's why he did that. Trying to get another free kick or a 50 metres or find his teammate. Comes back inside to Pike. Pike will run. Has players everywhere. Back in the centre of the ground. The ball lands and is allowed to land in the middle. McCarthy comes out to meet it. Throws his arm in. So does Gasper fumble it. And players back. Broderick over his head. Fitzroy players in numbers. Primus takes it on. Wants to go out wide. Has a player there in Carter. Carter's got it. Call play on, now races away. Bounces his way through the goals. Through the centre, oh. gives it up to him easily. McCarthy back to Carter. And they work it back to Dent. So here's Dent from the top of the square. Undecided, now goes out to Bowen. He can run, comes back inside, goes on his left foot. And the score will not count. So that is the end of the first quarter. And at quarter time, Richmond 4-9-33. Fitzroy 1 2 8, a margin of 25 points. Let's see what they can do in this second quarter. It's 33 playing 8. Primus up against Charles. The latter wins it down to Campbell and he pumps it towards the half forward line. It's going to be okay. And yes, Richardson does feel better, doesn't he, Ross? He finds Campbell. He waits as Richardson drops back. He's kicking from 55 metres. He's going to need Richardson to take a mark. He can't quite. It's tucked in the left forward pocket where there'll be a throw in. Oh. Boundary throw in. Primus tries to grab hold of it, then pulled off the ball and will get the free kick. Brendan Gale stands the mark. So you think one of the ones that will be drafted by other clubs, Matthew Primus. Kicks the ball out towards the wing. Big fly from behind. Goes over the back to Campbell. With his left hand, gives it to Broderick. Stands, waits. Now comes back in towards centre half forward. And there's that man again, Rogers. <laughs> He's got his own footy today. He's got his name written on it. 
Here he goes. Kicks long. Wobbles it, really. And Richardson works his way to the front. Plays on quickly with the handball. Very ambitious. Under enormous pressure is Broderick. And has kicked the goal, though. His first and Richmond's fifth. Well, it was unselfish, but sometimes when you're that close, you've just got to go back and take the kick yourself. It's all very well to give it off, but uh, if you put in the player who is your target under pressure, and there he is, Matthew Sheeran. <laughs> said that much of it. <laughs> and there's that handball. Just not quite finding the target, but Broderick good enough with evasive skills and on his wrong foot, his right, <laughs> puts it through. Back in the centre. Ball famous Primus. Charles does well, just blocks off his tap. It's pretty good stuff, and the big fella grabs it again. Plays on quickly, goes out wide, and Gale. It's Richardson, in fact, accepts the mark. So Matthew Richardson, would you believe? Eight marks and eight kicks, and yet to kick a goal. Including a handball, which he just set one up. So Richardson. It's a bit of breeze from right to left. So he should just aim this just outside. It's now yes. starting to come and a lovely kick. First goal to Richardson. Well, he's such an important player for them to have a target like that with his height and mobility. And there's a couple of perhaps questions on him regarding his plays because he, I think he does duck back a bit too much rather than following the play up. And then he's kicking at times, not just because of today. It's just a little way, although he's spending plenty of time working on that. 45 plays, eight. Richmond leading. Looking to return to the top eight. In smashing style. Charles will go for a roundhouse right here, but he doesn't get an effective belt clear. And Chandler can't get away effectively either. It's finally socket off the ground, down towards right half forward. Leading in the race for the ball is going to be Johnny Rombotis. It's socket clear, however. Inside 50, Campbell, if he runs with it, can soccer it on. He does towards Bond. Can they make a pass for him? No. Out comes uh, Gale. That's Benny to meet him. Gives the hand pass away, but in doing so, gives the football away. Johnson chanced his arm somewhat ambitiously to Baldwin. It's OK. He comes back towards the half-back line, and the mark taken once again by Rombotis. Goes short, wants his captain, and finds him. Boyd has a look down towards half forward, over the head of Primus, and a good diving mark is taken by Tawny. Broderick, who's having one of those, a very good Tawny. Michael Gale, off to Naish. Naish spears it in towards the forward line. No free kick, no mark. Richardson looks back at the umpire in total disbelief. And play goes on as Malloy pops it towards the half-back line. And the mark is taken by Bamford. Plays on quickly. Back again it goes. Now he's got an opportunity to chip towards centre wing. Going to be OK. Finishes with Wharf. After coming from Dent to half-four, that's a strong mark. And finally they get a set shot at goal. It looks like Martin Worry. Who's going to have the shot? Yes, and the change has been made too uh, by Fitzroy Richardson with his third opponent. Now has Malloy. Mellington's gone forward. So, Worry. Kicking from 47 metres. Drop punt looks pretty good off the boot. And there's the second one to the line. Yes, we've had uh, very few opportunities uh, going forward, but Marty Worry just uh, got himself in front there. They shared the ball around. Bamford involved on a couple of occasions. And then Dent finding Wharf straight through the middle. A bit more purposeful this time. It's a pretty high kick. Well done by Worry. Primus and Charles. Primus just foots it out wide. So Pike tries to run through hard, does. Caught with the footy now, gets it out, good umpire in Oregon, let it go a bit, and Gale's pushed in the back at a free kick. Just inside defensive 50, and one of the veterans of Richmond now, Michael Gale. Cool play on, <laughs> gets through, has Broderick out wide. He absolutely must have BO, no one's near him. Comes inside, caught Ryan, now under pressure, goes to ground. 
and the ball eventually underneath and a free kick going to Johnny Ron Boatless. Centre wing. Fitzroy now moving to attack. Big five from McCarthy from behind. Gale off to Burke. There's a player ahead of him. It's Tate. Tate just wheels around, kicks it towards Gale. Gale jumps early, can't get hold of it. Johnson reads it beautifully off the ground. Great hand through the middle. Great sharing here by Fitzroy. Ends up with Dent. Kicks out wide. And sitting back there is Mellington. So, terrific running there from Wharf to Dent to Mellington. Now, we've seen uh, a couple of shots over this side by the Richmond players in that first quarter. And they all went to the right. Let's see what this youngster can do. Kicks. Goes to the right and stays to the right. So, just the minor score there. And Fitzroy. Gallop along the two goals three. Richmond, 6-9. But it has been a better start to the second quarter than it was the first. Broderick picks up yet another possession. The handball back over the top towards Campbell, who skips away and then pops it up towards centre wing. Charles does it with ease. And he lopes clear. Swings it into half forward. The big fly was from Richardson. He was ripped off the football. He was not free kick, and he cannot believe it. Gets up holding his back. Johnson plays on to Atkins. Back again to Johnson, bounces through the middle, he's still going, another bounce, another chop. And he gets the crowd going, wide to Baldwin, Jason Baldwin's 80 metres out from home, puts them inside 50 now, over the head of Atkins it goes, Hawking couldn't take the mark. Time now for the Tiger defence to tighten up, and they do so, as Gaspar comes away towards Miranda on centre wing. Not a good bounce. Miranda will take it though. There's a player down behind player, a Richmond player in trouble. A frustrated Bond has flown early and given away the free kick. He's going to come back. Who's that player in trouble down there? No, uh, Charles. 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 Free kick. Comes back inside to Primus. Hoyt reads it beautifully off hand. Now, just the delivery here. Probably didn't need the bounce because the players led at him. Makes it very difficult now. Ball falls over the back. Here's Hawking onto his left foot. Kicks the ball and kicks it very ugly indeed. And out on the floor. Yes, uh, consecutive occasions there. Pike uh, just coming through. Just said, no, taking that bounce didn't need to. Miranda did the same thing going the other way. He took a bounce through the wing. Richardson ran at him. He went long. Wasn't the best option. This is Kellaway. With that favoured left foot. Big five from Hawking, gets Burke out the way. McCarthy misses the target, and Broderick just swings it around onto his right foot. Coming hard out of power, quick he is, and misses also the target. So just a bit of untidy piece of play for the last minute or so. Twelve and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Powell comes off the ground, is replaced by Chris Sullivan. It's his first run. Gale, or oh, Broderick, oh, back towards Benny Gale, clever little tap onto Nash, that's very effective by the big man, in towards Charles, looking to hold uh, front position, not out of the danger zone yet, it's back to Charles, over the top he can go to Rogers, and he'll kick a goal, don't worry about that. Number four, for Matthew Rogers, number seven for the tie, 7-9 seven, plays 2-3. Yes, just to get the numbers told with Gale just taking a bit of Ruckworth. Charles going up to that centre half forward area just for a moment. And just losing control of the football ball and just pressure there. Good hands, first option, and Rogers. Well, surprised they just haven't got someone picking him up. It's just amazing. They're back in the centre, and the big fellas go at it. Primus wins it handsomely. Court oh. is. Knights, no free kick, so is Bamford. Knights comes back to get it again to Broderick, and they work it out beautifully to Ryan. Ryan kicks it high. Malloy and Richardson dice for it, just can't control it. Wharf's there, and Nash. Good pressure here, has support from behind in Bond. Bond now uses a big long handball to Campbell. Has to go backwards to Knights, but in the middle. 
Matthew Knights just steadies him down. Now plays on. Now in trouble. But Campbell kept on running. He in turn goes long. It's a big high kick again. And the Fitzroy really cut it out easily with Wharf. On the last line of defence, 51 players, 15. Tigers lead. He goes short. It's going to be okay. Finds Dent. Wants to go on with the job quickly. Was contemplating the handball. Now goes back and Steve Paxman. Goes over centre wing. Big fly. And an excellent grab. So Barker. Well, is he going to undo his good work? Nash couldn't take it cleanly. Flicked up in the air. Primus tried to get it towards Atkins or Bamfield. They're both there. It's the latter who eventually takes it and spears a pass into half forward. No mark is taken. It's locked up. An umpire, Tim Pfeiffer. The police officer from South Australia will come in and have a bounce. Oh, a little bit of frustration going on behind play. Play, however, goes on now. Campbell rides the bump. Bomb back to Campbell. He's really coming into it. Gets the hand pass away to Tawny. They've got it on the half-back flank. Knights forced to use the one hand, and he almost took it. But again, Tim Pfeiffer comes in to take charge as we go down to the boundary line uh, for the latest injury report, the fly. Yes, Sandy, Robert Powell has a lot of difficulty in the groin and the, the hip area in the right in the left leg. So I'm not too sure how he'll be going, whether he'll be coming back on the ground, but not, not looking too good. OK, free kick given away there. Going to Tawny. Tawny goes out the wing to Bond. Bond controls the kick nicely to Rogers. Swings around in towards centre half forward. Richardson in a big long lead. Can't get hold of it. Caught is nice. Great tackle. So Fitzroy held him up. Is he being held, Ross? I mean, he's. <laughs> have a listen to him. Well, he suggests he is, isn't he? Suggesting? Oh, my hat. <laughs> Where's the umpires? Vince Sergio. Sergio. Throws it down. Atkins goes back, puts Boyd under enormous pressure. And Richmond tied up. So we're 35 metres from the Richmond goal. They've managed three goals straight this quarter to Fitzroy 1-1. Puts it down on a nice piece of turf, a replaced piece of turf. Primus goes after the ball that he tried to get away through the ruck work. And Wayne Campbell last up. So we'll redo it again. Primus punches it back towards goals. Looks oh. not very intelligent at all. Oh. And Marenga reads it beautifully and kicks their eight. Yes, and as soon as he hit it back that way, Mally just uh, put his hands on his knees and said what on earth am I doing quite right if you're in that situation don't put it back into the into the traffic area particularly you haven't got numbers there and more particularly you've got someone like Miranda who's a real goal sneak running under the footy back in the middle let's see what happens this time well he goes for a mighty belt and gives it straight down to Miranda again but he loses it to Atkins he elects to go even wider. This is to Rowan Wharf. Wharf down towards the half forward line, but only as far as that position. Miranda takes the hand pass from Tawny. Kicks back towards centre wing. They'll go forward again. Guess who? Broderick, you're correct. 50 out. 53. He kicks. Richardson, front spot. He is getting frustrated, I can tell you. Fitzroy cleared to the outer side. This is Dent. He goes long and wide. And it's going to be OK. The mark is taken by Barker. From Barker has a lead from Hawking. Got out of way from Burke. So there's two good kicks in a row. Three, in fact, to end up with Hawking. So they've controlled this piece of play. Richmond haven't touched it from the back. Mark here required. Paxman almost goes over to the back. And there is Mellington. Atkins tries to tap it on. Tape runs hard. Spread a path for Tawny. Terrific play from Jamie Tate. And the kick's given up and out on the fall. It's a second try, Michael Gales been missed. Oh and Jason Baldwin kicks huge pack of players, and it's Mark Barker. 
No, John Barker. Just kicked the eight goals this year and only 11 in his career. He's played a fair bit of defence in his in his short career of 46 games. And uh, one of those, I guess, just taller than average size players. We'll see if he goes to the right as well. Kicks. No, this time he split the middle. Terrific kick. He's got their third. Well, I was going to suggest the kick coming in from ball was going to be uh, to the real pack situation, nothing constructive, but uh, to expect a mark in that situation was pretty hopeful. Barker took a good grab. And the kick off the boot went left. I don't think it was intentionally going left, but it uh, went that way, and the breeze just pushed it uh, straight. Did well in the end. So Barker gets his first. Fitzroy's third, 3-3, three, three, plays 8-9. Primus looks to win it out of the centre, but it's taken away by Broderick up to Rogers. Now Knights giving away a little ground to Tawney to send a wing. Back to Knights. They surge it forward. Rogers, he is everywhere. One bounce. He's had 13 kicks, eight marks. He turns around quickly enough. He's had Campbell, Look at in, the Campbell in the square alone. Mind you, he's not on his own. There's another one. Nice. If he had a turn around quickly, he had five options there, Richardson. Chris Nash has come into this game with 29 goals for the season. From 35 metres, he's now got 30 for the season. So the quick answer from the Tigers. And again, the ability of the, the Richmond players to run forward and get into space and somehow be unmarked by their Fitzroy opponents who seem to be prepared to let them go. And even when Richardson didn't turn around quickly enough to see Campbell in the square, when he finally did, he still had a couple of options, of which one was Nash, who heads towards 200 career goals. The margin again out to 42 points. Flavor of Richmond. One by Primus. Now here's an opportunity for Baldwin on the end of the hand pass. He was unable to take it cleanly and Gasper controlled it beautifully. It showed excellent skills. Coming wide towards centre wing. That's great football. Taken by Sullivan who came on earlier in the quarter and he's got Richardson. Richardson will look towards goal and Campbell Drops back there now, running with the flight of the ball. And it had gone over on the full. Fun and games. The Martin Pike and Wayne Campbell. It's Pike. Richardson will be one of the flies. Gale another. Michael Gale taken out of it. And Matthew Knights picks himself up and doesn't really appreciate some of the attention being shown in by Jared Malloy. There have been some busy players. Rogers 14 and 8 marks. Broderick's had 13 kicks and 10 hand passes. Boyd, there's a hand pass credited to him off towards Wharf. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can never do that. Forgot to clinch the fist and handball. <laughs> oh dear, that was your rich handball. <laughs> uh, here's Broderick for another possession. He's having an amazing first half. Thirteen kicks, one mark, ten hand passes. Now Nash, centering kick, Richardson over the top, couldn't take it all, bending it back as Chris Sullivan and slamming it into the post. 9-10, plays 3-3. Three, three. Here is Matthew Manfield just on the sideline there, waiting to come on, kick out, Primus comes late, Knights reads it well, he gives it up to Sullivan so another shot at goal no he goes underground with a kick 
to Richardson. The athletic Matthew Richardson under pressure. Mike reads it well. Just hoists the ball away. Falls favourably to Chris Johnson. Bond ties him up. And really will be an exciting youngster, I'd suggest, for the Bears next year. Great kick. Terrific kick to Boyd. So that's three good kicks now. One to finish it off. Just a shot at goal is what Fitzroy will be looking for. And not quite. Chipping in his goal. And breaking away, Knight. They really just don't man up on the way back, do they? Into Torn. He's playing well. Getting a lot of touches. Off to Burke. Chips the ball forward. Terrific punch away by Johnson. Really meant it. Chandler comes at it. So does Burke. Caught high. Not noticed by the umpire. So a ball in between wing and half forward. Richmond into attack. Three and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Charles Primus, the latter wins it with the left hand, gets it down to Boyd, off to Atkins, gives away a little ground here towards Johnson, shrugs the tackle. Well, they're going nowhere fast. Pike's kick smothered, and they've lost it. Danger time again because Richardson has it speared under his chest. He's got players in the square if he wants them. He elects to have a shot at goal for himself and pops it through. Ten ten plays three three. Matthew Richardson two goals now and both of those in this quarter. Yes, there's no question they worked out well. They give him plenty of space to run into. Sullivan, the player, kicking that ball through. Beautiful disposal. And again, just around in time. Did have Campbell as an option if you wanted him. Then Harrison coming on for a run. Broderick having a spell. He's knocked up getting kicks. Knights. He's certainly come into the game too as uh, Matthew Knights. Welcome Ben Harrison. He gets flattened as he attempts to get his first possession. Knights in there battling for it once again with Chris Johnson. But Vince will take charge. Primus, left hand down towards Boyd. Oh, caught this Banfield. It was like being sent to Pentridge. It was not going to get out. Banford, who did I say? Banfield. Peter Banfield. Yeah, Essendon. Essendon. Memory lapse. Bounce. Primus again, taken by Boyd. High kick. Up over the centre. Doing well is Barker. Kicked a goal earlier on in this quarter. Boyd gets the hand pass away. Maybe a fraction late. The cry of ball. And Chris Bond can't believe it. Terrible decision of John Barker's there, wasn't it? Given the uh, skipper three metres yeah, away with a kick. Going on his wrong side. Yeah. Under pressure from Campbell. Yeah. So a bounce. Just about in the middle. Boyd. Tumbles a punt down towards right half forward. Michael Gale shows dash. Swings it round his body. He's had a couple go out of bounds and him on the full. He hasn't been too impressed. So now he's got one back. Rowan Wharf. Bring it in. Looks at his options up forward. Eventually goes long. Flies wide at primers right underneath it. Good kick then from Boyd forward. Ball bounces, has to wait is Burke. Hawking comes over the top, and surely that's a free kick. That's untidy. When I mean, there's a thing being frustrated and controlling yourself and doing the best you can, just giving away an easy kick's not really the answer. Into Nash. Nash can break away. Into the centre's Kellaway. Goes back to Nash. So the old one too. Now goes on his left foot, kicks it out wide. Beats players in the air. First back there is Sullivan. Johnson's coming with him. Just worries him out of it. And eventually the ball over the line. So another throw in. And Richmond by 49 points. Just over 30 seconds to go of this second quarter. There's 70 plays, 21. Pike. Down towards right half forward. Manfield was there. Couldn't take it cleanly. And again over the line. And 
Martin Pike, 59 games under his belt. Primus, Gale, won by Benny Gale. Down towards Nash, gets a quick kick. Going to be okay. Bounced over the line. So a throw in again. Primus using the right arm. Waiting down was Harrison for Richmond. Clean bowls just about everyone. At the back to tidy up was Manfield. Gives it off to Pike. Pike goes towards centre wing, but there's the siren. So no addition to the score. But a better quarter. Certainly for Matthew Richardson, who booted two in that turn. And we're just about set for a start in this second half. Can the Lions make a bold showing? Well, Primus wins the opening ruck duel, but it's Bond who takes it away to Nash, who kicks to the half-forward line, and Rogers. Quiet first half, 14 kicks, 9 marks. Rogers was sensational with Broderick. Now, Gale leads, then drops back. Tap towards the boundary line, and tap over the boundary line for another throw-in. That's Jared Malloy. Left forward pocket. Special comments from Ross Glendinning. Former champion. Now Primus. Well, he gives the hand pass away to Pike, who was standing still. He in turn finds Atkins. It was touched, so Payon is the call. He kicks it in towards the middle. Bond, he's a real little terrier. I thought he might have been free kick there, Ross. Might have said he. But wasn't. Wharf gives it away towards Pike. Pike. Back into the middle. Atkins will leave it for his young skipper, Boyd. Drifts it into the centre. And now the Lions will look to go into attack. They've managed just three goals, three for the game to date. And that's belted defensively over the line. Duncan Kellaway, gee, he's uh, had a fine season for Richmond and is an excellent defender. Welcome back, Malcolm. Good day, Sandy. How are you? So, uh, yes, interesting game. Uh, Richmond obviously need to win it. Fitzroy fighting for some pride. Broderick had the footy in the first half. Along with Matthew Rogers, really did have their names written on it. Can I just say a reply to uh, Sandy there, Mel, that there's only been 11 free kicks given so far in the game, so uh, they've let so many go, yeah. as they did last night as well. Actually, there's quite a number they didn't give yeah. last night that uh, if they're there, you've got to pay them. I agree. Boyd in over the ball. Just need to keep his feet there. Campbell, terrific in underneath. Great handball to Bond. Oh, this is great running here from Richmond. Ends up with Tate. Tate just wobbles the kick. It's not great. Yeah. Doesn't favour Richardson. Really let him down with the skill. And great repulsive. I was going to say repulsive, but it was repellent, really, by the Fitzroy side from Jared Malloy. And a scramble, really, at half forward. McCarthy shows him the footy. Now goes in high. Flies one at here. From behind, Chandler! Oh! Almost, and eventually it's kicked off the ground, and Fitzroy, with Marty Worry, has kicked his second, and Fitzroy's fourth. Well, it was a good jump, Mel, and a good rebound football there. Just, uh, the attack was repelled, quite right, and it came back. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ross. I think there's a couple of Richmond players wearing repellent because they got <laughs> one near them. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, it was a good, uh, good effort. Chandler was a player to jump. Just couldn't quite control, but then Worry just uh, cleaned up beautifully. Good snap, well played. And let's see if that can give them a boost. Two goals to Marty Worry. Primus beaten out of the centre, taken by Campbell. Kick partly smothered. Bond gives him assistance. Back to Campbell again. Goes for a little clever little chip that didn't quite work. Soccer back towards Michael Gale. It's back to its centre wing. He's got time to chip it back towards Rogers on half forward. And also there is Powell. Powell takes it, kicks inside 50. Bond applies a very good tackle, and Wharf puts it straight over the line. And Bondy picks himself up and says, oh, my hand. So a throw in. Left forward point. No one able to take it away cleanly. Eventually it's uh, Pike who gives it away towards Chandler. Kicks to centre wing. Miranda is there. Has to be quick. A 
Lions have the numbers. They should get away with this. Boyd eventually flicks it towards Chandler. Chandler goes outside to Bamford. He's got Atkins. Atkins gives it away. They're almost down to the 50. Parker gives it back again. Inside 50. No mark taken by Manfield. Picks himself up. He's close to the boundary line. He goes for the centering kick. Tiger numbers there, and Campbell is more than happy to concede a behind. 10-10, 4-4. Six goals, six the margin. 42 points. Campbell kicks it to himself, now bounces it away from fullback. Has a player inside in Kellaway. Looks out wide. Uh. Doesn't quite hit the kick right either. And Barker accepts the mark. Now caught, has to play on. Tips the ball forward and beautifully finds out the opposition player in Bond. Back to Campbell. So the skills just starting to let the teams down a little bit. Gale goes to give off. Not called play on. So he goes back centre wing. And only all smalls up forward. So he goes to that leading player in Powell. Powell now tries to control the kick to Richardson. Malloy comes with him. Punches beautifully away. Bond caught. Drops the ball. That should be holding the ball. It's not. They put the whistle away, as you said, Ross. End up with Pike. Has to wait and deliver. Here's another one. So they're just trying to dwell with a handball to Malloy. There's enough of them there. Paxman gets a low one. Terrific grab down low. Now goes out wide. Really uh, not the place to be there. Players back in the middle of the ground were better options. Ooh. Atkins tries to go off the ground. Here's Broderick. Relieves the pressure to Gale. That's Michael Gale. Goes inside to Charles. His hand pass somewhat low for Tawny, but he's equal to the task. Michael Gale. Kick close to the line, but it bounces inside. And the veteran passes, Michael, 161 games. Here's the throw in. There's a bit of jostling uh, in front Sandy. of the pack. And, yeah. uh, Miranda has given away a free kick to Dent. Shouldn't say this, but I watched every centimetre, and that, that is unbelievable decision. And now 50. Just a bit of bike play, Mel, wasn't there? There's nothing yeah. in that at all. Just let the guys go. And... Yeah, it is. <laughs> so it brings Dent well, down to right half forward. And that's an awful kick. Straight to Gasper. He lopes clear across that half-back line, hoping to set something up on that outer side. Broderick was there, he got a hand to it. Atkins in front, they're hassling him all the way. Look at Broderick, just chipping in. Takes it, gives it back to his teammate there in Ryan. A high kick back towards uh, centre wing. Rogers not on the half volley. Bond, like Grease Lightning, still going. Gives it back to Broderick. Now they've got it clear. Campbell wanted to go on with the job. Who, me, he says. Johnson, a pleading look. He goes for Charles. And the big man plays on. You want to take me on? Catch me. And he floats an ugly punt into the left forward pocket. Well, the idea was right, but uh, just not balanced enough. <laughs> Boundary throw in. Left forward pocket for Richmond. Over the head of both players, which is a knock at the goal square to Nash. And they've got a goal or a point. It's a point. So just uh, let's read that on the other side of the post then. There wasn't a lot of jubilation from the Richmond players. So 10 11. And that's their first score for the quarter as Dent brings it into Johnson. Who goes back again to that player. And they share out of defence. He's a go of this boy, don't worry about that. Off to Chandler. Back again. Oh, he runs straight into Michael Gale. Loses the football. Rogers and Broderick combine with Michael Gale. Hurriedly flicks it up towards his brother Benny, who's on 50. Couldn't quite take it with the one hand. Tries to lock it up now and get Malloy in there at the same time. Bam Ford gets the hand pass away to Dent. Atkins is clear on centre wing. Away he goes. To right half forward, a better looking kick. And the tumbling mark is taken. So Fitzroy are going to get an opportunity through McCarthy to have a shot for their fifth goal. 
Hadn't seen much of the footy today. John McCarthy just two and six. Just wondering, Ross, with the uh, thumbing at the moment, going from that natural light to the light, uh, artificial light, just wonder if some of the guys are having trouble just picking the ball up. Yeah, maybe so, but some of these school areas, though, Mel, have made it uh, more difficult. Yeah. McCarthy on a 45 degree angle. Goes across the face of goal. And I think it's already gone through from behind. Yes. So his first score. And Fitzroy moved to 4-5. Broderick whips it back into play to Kellaway. Back to Campbell. Back to Broderick. Like a triangle. The three of them trying to work it clear, although that kick wasn't exactly brilliant. Well done by Pike to get through some very hairy traffic, but a poor kick. Puts it straight down the throat again of Wayne Campbell. What a year he had last year. In fact, at this time, they were saying, Wayne Campbell for the brown loaf. It wasn't to be. Just on that, who's your tip this year, Ross, for the brown loaf? Well, this seems to be good money for Kelly. I think Hurd's had a pretty good year too, Sandy. Yeah. In towards Richardson, out the back. Richardson can tap it forward. He's being held. He's being held. Yes, he certainly was being held. <laughs> and your thoughts, Malcolm? Who do you like for the brown line? I like uh, Matera, G. Hocking, and Kelly. And Richardson. For number three. First two came in the second quarter. Close to the man on the mark. And I think he's popped at three. There's just some frustration there by Fitzroy and the play just coming in there and Richardson's heights allowed him just to control the ball. And Malloy just knowing he couldn't restrict his grabs and by the jumper assume he's going to control the footy, which he did in Richardson. Did the right thing. Obvious free kick. Well, it's interesting. He's in the 80s now with his goal kicking for the season. So that's uh, four goals a game roughly is a floating forward rather than a full forward. It's pretty good. Back in the centre. Primus. Gets it down to Chandler, gives it off quickly to Pike. Has Atkins in support, runs wide now to the corner of the square, brings it back on the left foot, and almost the mark there to tape. Falls to Callaway, goes back confidently back to Gasper, the cross goals. This is Ryan, chips the ball out to Tawny. So they bring it away pretty well with a wobbly kick then to Bond. He goes back yeah. to Charles, caught. Boyd also caught, trying to work hard to get the ball out. And another ball up. So Brett Boyd, the first one of the players signed by the Brisbane Bears to be known as the Brisbane Lions for next year. Primus taps it down. That's good to Boyd. Kicks it high. Players come at it. Campbell to Callaway and now to right, uh, Sullivan. Hooks the ball around the goal line, around the boundary line, I should say. Nash can run. Very direct play to Richardson. Drops the mark. Really probably should have taken that one. Malloy, Paxman it was, just put enough pressure. Here's Gale. Gets it. Richmond should have been tackled. Very ordinary from Pike. The ball comes back inside. Rogers is there. Boyd also. Runs the gauntlet. Nash legged. Has oh. help now with Powell. Off to Broderick. Gives it up to Pike. Tries to break the tackle. Can't. Now dead under pressure. Broderick also off to Campbell. And the Tigers get away through Richardson. Just untidy passage of play, but eventually a bit of quality in Wayne Campbell to Matt Richardson. A very difficult kick. Had a lot of kicks, had a lot of the balls that fall forward. Kicks and out of bounds on the fall. Did not even scare the goal umpires at anywhere near it. And Sandy, if that was you, you'd probably say, oh my hat. <laughs> yeah, it's not what he had in mind. Why would you say that, Mel? <laughs> yeah, it's a poor kick from Richardson. When you, as Mel said, he's had plenty of the football, 15 and 2 with 12 marks. He 
He's got uh, three for the day, but he's certainly had a chance to snare uh, quite a bag. Campbell's picking up a ton of possessions. That's kick number 17 to Wayne Campbell. Giving it away, however. Atkins has it at half back. Floats it up over the middle. Tape got a hand to it and was the first to recover. He's a very good player. Oh, and he's got the runners out wide. Bond is there, and away he sails again. In towards Richardson, and he doesn't let him down. Knights are saying, here we are in the square. Head our way. Benny Gale's there as well. From 55 metres, he lets this one go. It's a long bomb. Gale at the back. Somewhat of a rout is developing here. going for his first goal for the day and gets it so that's his 29th for the season and they're really starting to motor now Roscoe yes you're starting to shirt around that goal line there uh, now seven goal kickers with Benny Gale getting his first and Richardson just doing the right thing here not his distance so pushes up high gives Gale the opportunity Fitzroy players looking for a free kick for Paxman not so but again, it's that ability of the midfield players to run away and the, also the ability of the half-back line of Richmond to repel any attack of Fitzroy and find those runners coming through the middle. Umpire David Howlett puts it back down. The margin really starting to creep out now. Charles gets a second hit at it. Nice caught in. Oh, gets his little kick in. That was well played. Goes forward. Here's Richardson. Had 13 marks. It's unbelievable. Broderick had 300 this. possessions to Bond. Bond can run. Give it to Knights. And Knights can a show to goal or a handle over the top to go. So he gets two in 30 seconds. And maybe another kick. No. As he was severely dealt with by Pike after. There's an umpire, Tim Pfeiffer, saying the ML no, not, uh, not worthy of another kick. But just far too easy just good sharing the footy first option instinctive stuff and good running by bond to draw the player over the top could have been rogers or gale uh, brendan gale with two goals two quick goals in this third quarter back in the center the tigers really just starting to force the issue now starting to win some ball in the middle campbell's handball goes to bamford Bamford tries to use his pace, then caught. Comes back for a second attempt. That's pretty well done. Atkins is clever with the hands. Oh, here's all the Fitzroy players. They run the forward way. Kick forward. Big jump from behind. No ball. And Burke mops up nicely at the back. Goes to the safety of the boundary line. Players run after it. Primus first there. Closing is Ryan. And the big fella's just having trouble getting down to it. So Campbell pinches it. Now wants some help. Just wobbles the ball forward. Towards centre wing, coming hard at it. Powell overruns it. His Boyd comes back into the middle of the ground. Finds Atkins. He's forced to go short again. Back to his skipper. Boyd to half forward. Oh, an excellent attempt to mark in front, and he's going to be paid to Gasper. He's done well, Gasper. Yep. Came to the club under a lot of pressure. And as Ross said, has done well. Sullivan started on the bench. Bond sees that go out of bounds on the floor. Trying a little Ronald Biggs steal. It didn't work. Fitzroy this quarter have kicked one goal two. And they are having great trouble penetrating this defence led by Gasper, Tate and Kellaway and Co. They've done an excellent job. There's courage shown by Nash. The way he can run. Chipping it into half board is good. Mark not taken, but they've got the players there. This is Powell. Centering kick towards Benny Gale on the half ball. He couldn't quite take it cleanly. They crunch him into the ground. And the umpire says, I'll have it. And the frustrated Jared Malloy throws the ball into the ground. 
the option there, I thought perhaps it wasn't the kick, but maybe the handball to Rogers who was free. Bam Ford. High into the centre. Charles has his name on that, as Malcolm would say. <laughs> to half forward. Knights is at the back. And he's pretty quick. Malloy is heading towards the line in frustration and the bounce. Sort of names on that footy, Sandy. Oh, the phone book. Fitzroy's last goal. Three minutes into this quarter. And we've got just under six minutes remaining. Gale, straight up and down. Some heavy work. Sees that ball come towards Knight. Oh, he bounces up beautifully. And he kicks sensationally well. So, Richardson will have a shot directly in front. 35 metres out. And a chance to kick his fourth. Yeah, it's great work by Knights, isn't it? Get barreled yeah. like that. Just yeah. hold the football with bounced strong up. hands and just bounced up. This for number 14 for the Tigers from 40 metres. Richardson again a somewhat tentative kick, but it's okay. It's straight. Four goals to Matthew Richardson. Ross, it's a bit like uh, if you give Knights any room at all. He's oh. going to find someone, isn't he? I mean, yes. The quality of the kick. Yep, and he's a bit like uh, Robert Harvey, and then he gets a bit of space, and he just gets up and finds the gap. Here, just watch this. The ball comes to him. Bounce. Up he gets, and just puts it beautifully out in front of Richmond. Not, uh, not directly to him, but enough space for him to run onto it. Matthew Richardson with four goals. Primus gets his hand on it. Pack of players around it. Nash has to stop and wait. McCarthy trying to hassle him does now yeah. and pinches it off him but not before the umpires blowing the whistle so from the corner of the square almost another bounce Fitzroy just slightly into attack shepherding surely no Primus gives it to Boyd picks it out wide players now the chase is on tape has been very good today running hard and eventually over the line there's a change been made by Robert Walls Broderick comes off and Miranda on. Mark Miranda. He's had a very good season. Players lock arms here. The umpire lets it go, which is fair enough, because they both, both did it to each other simultaneously. And then another ball up. Matthew Primus. 10-11 goal margin now. 66 points. Miranda straight into the action, can't get his foot to ball. High tackle looked like on Carter, but uh, no free kick. And uh, I've seen him do that a lot this year. He actually gets that, that niggles, doesn't he? I mean, no, I think he's a bit uh, frustrated today, Mel. He just has that as much as the footy as he'd like. Seven and two. Oh, he's got a bit of fire in his belly. Yeah. So another bounce. We haven't really travelled far in the last couple of minutes. In tight, Rogers just handballs it out to tape. And they run again, Richmond. Gee, they really have done this well. It's been pretty good. Kick, Richardson. Just better judgment. Much better judgment. Yeah, Paxman uh, Mel thought it was going to go over the back, didn't he? So he read the ball to go further, and the carry just uh, not quite there. Ball just dropping short and the height of Richardson very much to his advantage there just able to stretch yes Tawny was good wasn't he I mean Tape and Tawny are there they flank Gasper and they've been good across that halfback line very as you good. mentioned yep. so Matthew Richardson kicked from 40 meters just inside 40 probably it's a nice piece of turf and that is his fifth five goals to Matthew Richardson and Richmond just streak away 15-11 the Fitzroy, 4-5. And Mel, as you mentioned, if they get to a few games through the finals, Richmond, uh, he's a chance to get to 100. Because he's, uh, as you say, into the 80s, now 83 goals. And with the opportunities he's had today, could very well be further ahead. He's also sneaking towards 200 career goals, which is a terrific effort in just 63 games. Well, they needn't worry about percentage. Richmond, it's healthy enough as it is. They've just got to keep winning next week if they're going to be there michael gale attempted to soccer that off the ground so too did his teammate bond and miranda three of them had a go they still surged it forward 
and they power in towards full forward over the top and Benny Gale takes the mark. Well, that was Ben Harrison just kicking that ball forward. He's almost like a Wayne Campbell look-alike. And Gale just again with the height there, able to catch the footy before it goes across the line. Wants to play on, goes onto the left foot and kicks a goal. So Gale has, am I right, three for the quarter? Yes, same as uh, Richardson, so uh, a double-pronged attack up there, which is proving pretty, pretty effective as Wayne Campbell comes off for a rest. And Joel Bowden comes on for his first run. And as it shades, last time they met, they had a go in the first half and then wilted badly. Well, we go powering down towards uh, half forward, apart from Johnson, who decides, I'll put a stop to this. And uh, the young man does. He might have to do it all on his own, just about. Eventually gets the hand pass across towards Rombotis. Under a ton of pressure, the ball is locked up in there. And a cry of ball, it's heated by the umpire. And Burke will take it. Kicks towards uh, the young man who's just come onto the ground, Joel Bowden. It goes over the top to Michael Gale. Runners everywhere, and they're loving this towards uh, Benny Gale. Well, Powell's hand pass was like Grease Lightning, a little too quick. In fact, it may just open the door for the Lions to get out of trouble. Wharf to Bamford, in towards the centre. Taken away by Paxman. Paxman wider to Martin Pike. Look out, my boy. Gone. Bamford again. A high kick straight up and down. Paxman had to wait, and they all came over the top. Tawny. Clear. Inside 50. They're just waiting. Look at this. Give the hand pass or kick it. Decide for yourself, and he kicks a goal. That's number six to Matthew Richardson, who at quarter time hadn't kicked a goal. Yes. What do you say to that, Roscoe? Well... I'm saying well done again. It's that rebound from half back. Burke just getting enough hands on it to push it forward. Harrison involved. And then Tawney, who's had a good Tawney, just eludes the tackle, takes a bounce, settles. And Richardson could very well have just handballed over to Gale, who did the right thing to get behind him and Shepard. Well, he must like playing against Fitzroy because he booted seven when they last met. And, uh, had a big second half five of those goals came in the second half two in the third and three in the last thank you malcolm for all that and here they go again miranda wants to get in the goal kicking action but he's away to the left and he fixed that i remember the game brad boyd actually played on him early and did very well and it was almost as though when boyd went off with uh, hammy that richmond then started to get on top and richardson really broke free so i can understand why boyd started on him today kick out flyers wanted nearly marked there by barker we're down to the last minute of this third quarter which has really been all richmond boyd gives it off to atkins johnson just off to hold it that's a clever handball to carter can run pike now to barker barker tries to unload and goes 40 meters off the side of the boot not quite controlled down there by worry kelly uh, Killaway. kelly <laughs> killaway has been good at the back so it's this bloke Gasper, look at this, and they look have at players it. everywhere. This is young Harrison, and he bolts away. Kicks. Oh, it's too easy, isn't it? Richardson on his left foot can find Belden. But Joel Belden goes back, kicks, go, you'd think. No, off hands, can't get hold of it. So there's Carter. That's good running. He was running through the middle just not all that long ago. Comes across goal, and Dent takes the mark. Plays on quickly. And... And only as far as Rowan Warp as the siren sounds. An excellent quarter of football by Richmond. A seven-goal blast. They are in complete control of the... And Donnelly also has four for the West Coast Eagles. It's a nightmare. Here we go. Final quarter. For the final time for Fitzroy in Melbourne. Can they win it out of the centre and do something positive? Yes, they can. Primus gives it to Warp, and he heads for home, up towards full forward. But Duncan Kellaway's been like the rock of Gibraltar. 
defends grandly. Bond takes the mark on the half-back flank. As usual, no frills, no fuss gets on with it to David Burke, who was slung as he gives his kick to Knights. Knights gives it off to Rogers. It's like a procession, and it's continuing on. Goes into the open space, almost taking it was Bowden on the half volley. McCarthy stormed through but couldn't take the ball with him. Malloy has been frustrated all day. Comes out the back door, is going to be okay. He finds Boyd on half back. Boyd gives it off to Chandler. Uses the ball towards teammates. Oh, straight through players' hands. Uh, that was Matthew Manfield. And his back line of this uh, one's been good. Now smothered. His Boyd has a chance. Measures the kick. Players go at it. Underneath it was Paxman. Coming hard out at Worry. Met solidly there was Tawny. So they try and work hard here. Get it out to Manfield. He's under enormous Here's pressure. Paxman caught. Tries to unload it. Gale working hard back in the goal square. And Richmond through Tawny. Break clear. Kick it out wide. Players out there is Bowden. Let's it bounce. Has a player in support. And that is Sullivan. Just swings the ball back into the centre. Richmond players everywhere. Miranda now goes long. And why wouldn't you? Gale out in front, jumps early and marks it. And Sandy, in this game last time they played, uh, Richardson, as you said, got seven and Brendan Gale got five. So that's 12 between them. They've currently got nine lining up for the tenth between them. So the two big fellas, they really have had trouble with in the two games this year. And particularly in the second half. So Brendan Gale with three. Thirty-one goals for the season. Kicks and pushes it to the right. So they remain on nine between them. Uh, and a point just results to the Richmond. Great defensive work in the back half, though, just to uh, stifle that run of what looked to be a certain goal for Fitzroy, just tackling and pressure. Good stuff by Richmond. Jared Malloy to do the kicking in. Charles, the spoiler from behind, although it does come out the back door towards Bond. He almost throws it away to Miranda, who accepts it quite gleefully. Kicks to half forward. Richardson, oh, he copped a heavy one. And he's down behind play as the mark is taken. Richardson is very slow to get up. I don't think you can believe it, but uh, Powell, in the meantime, is going to take the kick. I think he just had the wind well and truly knocked out of his sails. There's a spoil by Malloy coming from behind. Not very subtle. There's another goal. So the route continues, I'm afraid. Richardson's OK. Richmond have their 18. 18-13 plays 4-5. Yes, and his dominance in terms of uh, looking at Richardson here going for this mark against 17 marks from predominantly an area not more than about 40 metres out from goal, just an outstanding effort. And this time, Bowden get, uh, Powell gets in on the act, becomes their eighth goal kicker. Powell, was, I'm sorry. Back in the centre. Miranda caught underneath it. Now Charles, done this a few times today. Break <laughs> clear. Richardson with a jump from behind Scarl, in fact. Puts the ball to ground. Pike's there with McCarthy. Well, winds his way out of trouble in misses really with a regulation handball. Jim Malloy looks uh, sore or slow. Just uh, got the detective uh, groin uh, wear on there. Ross, he just, just looks a bit slow, doesn't he? Looks a bit, uh, looks a bit wounded to me. Or well, maybe there's a change coming up here. Gale and Primus. Just tap it down. Atkins just can't get hold of it. Bond jumps on it. Miranda spins oh. his way out of trouble. Then manages to get the ball forward. Running back with a flight. Here's Richardson. And kicks the ball very high. And behind the results again. So that's his fourth. He's now kicked 6-4. Odds on a 100-point margin here. You'd have to think uh, on offer. Yes. Just seven points away from that at the moment as Dent brings it back into play. Brad Boyd, caught. Tried to get it out towards Bamford. Or an attempted soccer off the ground there by Chandler. 
Atkins has it close to the line. He wants to sweep it back in towards Baldwin and Pike. It's the latter who comes steaming through. He's tried that a couple of times today. Kicks towards half forward. Michael Gale, resolute. Oh, was held! And he didn't have the ball. And he'll take the free kick. He's got players loose if he wants them. Maybe probably pick Charles. Rogers is alone in the square, but he's had a problem all day. Picked up kicks at will. Knights swings in the half forward. Here he is, speak of the devil. Rogers. Beautifully done. Malloy the spoils okay. The snap is by Bowden and he's kicked one. They're all getting in on the act now. Roscoe wanted him to kick the last one, but he's had to wait. <laughs> and he has. Yes, I had him up early, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dear. So they've kicked now by Malcolm signalling the last nine. Nine uh, players have kicked goals for Richmond. Oh. It's close. It was a good snap too, so uh, again, good sharing the ball and just an untidy free kick across half forward. And also. Fitzroy. Sorry, Ross. In fact, they have kicked. Yeah. yeah. Nine goals, also. three. Mate, you guys OK? <laughs> We're back in the centre. Here we go. Hamble comes out to Wharf. Tried hard. Just kicks the ball up. Paxman at the back. Not in the advantageous position. Tate does well to keep him away from it. And eventually the ball out of bounds. So, yes, nine players have kicked goals. And just to get that right again, nine, they've kicked the last nine. And and another player, Knights yeah. coming off and Broderick back on. So at least that's another sort of three and a bit quarters game underneath the belt for Matthew Knights. But I have to agree with you, Ross. He does look a bit proppy. Tap over the back. Atkins tries to get there first. Charles off to Miranda. Goes underground with a handball. Take court. Good enough to get out of it to Harrison. Just swings the ball back into the middle. Oh, terrific mark from Chandler. Looks out wide and finds Atkins. That's good too from Brad Boy there. Just give him a pat on the head. It's really that they probably, other than the first quarter, they've probably shared the footy a bit through this midfield, but just their skills and the Richmond fence being too good. Atkins going to say we're testing with this distance, and it does. Oh, big pack of players. Huge pack. Tawny's done this a lot of times today. Come out wide. Bond. Yes. Ah, oh, catch. <laughs> I said a word in our game. Of course it is. It's in the rules. But we won't go over that again, Sandy, from last night. What a sensational grab, though. He goes short to Miranda. Miranda kicks into the man on the mark and then retrieves it. It bounces straight back at him. Goes up towards half forward. Richardson was again interfered with. And the ironical cheers go up as David Howard has picked this up. He's caught plenty this afternoon. Pops it in towards Benny Gale, who gives it off to Burke. He's taken high, although he did duck. So play on will be the call, correctly so. Baldwin will take the Chandler hand pass. Baldwin's got a bit of time. He has a look down towards centre wing. There's no one at home. There's no one. Michael Gale goes into the middle. They've all been told to get Wayne Campbell haircuts, and Ben Harrison has been one who's agreed to it. This should be a goal coming up. It is. That's Powell, and he's kicked two this corner. And the lead is now out to 105 points. Yeah, it's just a little bit too easy. The kick coming down from Baldwin through the centre. He knew the only one on short was covered, so he tried to go long. Popped up by Gale. The ball rebounds, and the goal results again. Huge margin. Tigers doing it very convincingly indeed. Atkins tries to tap it off the ground. Gale does. Oh, oh just blocks away. Kicks it towards Gale. Out in front. Almost mark. Does drop a lot of ball to Nash. And Nash is into the goal kicking out. Who's doing the votes? Ross. Should be very interesting. Second goal to Chris Nash in Richmond's 21st. 
Are you trying to have some influence there, San Diego? No, I just mean there's been such an even performance by by Richmond as a team. Yes, no, and again, uh, Rogers featuring. He's just quieted off a little bit. No, oh. I, I agree with you, Mal. It's uh, Benny Gowan just at times drops some of those that he really should uh, take, given the opportunity he does have. We've got a double change here for Richmond. Knights and Knights and Campbell to come back on. Bond and Nash for a rest. It's like a running machine being interchanged, isn't it? 21 14 plays 4 5. And uh, an infringement within the square. It sees it go the way of Fitzroy. So Primus gets the hand pass away. They kick it out towards uh, Baldwin. He had it for a moment, but then lost it. They run it out courtesy of Ben Harrison, who started proceedings. It finishes with Miranda. Miranda gives it off to Charles. He looks down towards the two big guns again. Gale and Richardson were both there, almost scooped out illegally, but play allowed to go on. Finishes with Wayne Campbell. Caught. Ball is held, and a bounce will take place inside 50. Roy's last score coming at the 10 minute mark of the third quarter. Charles comes over the top. Who's on the end of it? Bowden and Powell are both there. Harrison also is written into the ground. It's flick wide. Comes to Benny Gale. Could have been from Tawny. Gale caught on that occasion. The ball spills free. Gives Bam Ford a chance. And he scoops away. Two bounces. He's through the centre. Maybe something promising can come from this. He combines with Chandler. Still going. Inside 50. Almost leg, but it won't deter him. He carries on and he shoots towards goal. And tape marks on the last line of defence. And now they'll come out. They've got players everywhere. Through the seagulls, I can see Charles. Give it away towards Rogers. He kicks up towards right half forward. Good use of the body by uh, Bowden. Bowden... Puts them inside 50. Richardson tries to turn on a sixpence. Not quite enough. McCarthy is there. Take over, Malcolm. The Seagulls are blocking me. <laughs> the handball comes out to Primus. Has to wait for it. Oh, ends up back with Sullivan. You'd think two on one here at the back. Outnumbered. And perfectly done by Richardson. He just had goal written over it once the ball was lost in front of the members. And yet another name on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I hope you use a different ink, Mel. <laughs> Stand it. There he is. For goal number seven. It's a big day, isn't it? No matter which way you look at it. 18 marks. And a lucky seven for Matthew Richardson. Yes. Which show rules, he certainly does. Yeah, no doubt about that. He's, uh, he's had an outstanding game. Well, when it's more dominant with the opportunities he's had, but uh, you can't query that effort. Just here, McCarthy giving the ball off towards teammate back again. And just a bit of a fumble down here. Primus hitting his knees. And the rebound comes back. Well, the margin when they met earlier in the season was 92 points. Could be 192 this time. Chandler, who's tried desperately hard, tries to get it out, but Burke just with sheer persistence runs it free towards Bowden. Floaty kick in towards full forward. It's two. They're having a field day. It's like going to the Royal Show. You just qualify that, Teddy. <laughs> I think you get presents and show bags, and I tell you what, Benny Gale. And Matthew Richardson are getting show bags today because they are having a feast. And the applause for Darren Gasper as he comes off for a rest and nice to come back on. Dale trying to go goal for goal with Richardson since half time. And he's threaded that one through. There's another one. As we look further ahead, Sandy, to uh, Richmond's next game, which is against North Melbourne. It certainly uh, sets up for a great tourney with these two forwards in great form. And the, the midfield, both uh, sides having good midfield running players. Well, the last time that North and Richmond played, Glenn Archer was the player to match up on Richardson. 
If he's fit, he could very well get the job again. And I might add an excellent crowd of 48,884 coming to say farewell to Fitzroy in Melbourne. Yes, yeah, so it is a good crowd. Disappointing day for them, but nevertheless, they're here. And I'm sure a lot of those former players are here in spirit. Campbell for, uh, gets it back from Charles and then goes forward. And so the procession continues. As I mentioned, seven and five they both got last time. Richardson and Gale. And he's been in now going for his fifth. Richardson's already got his seventh. So could history repeat itself? But dirty does it. Now, ironically, the score last time was also 23-16 they kicked against 9-8 uh, or thereabouts. So, ben Brendan Gale oh, has kicked it. Oh, he has kicked it. It's gone over the goal on Pye's hat. Great kick. He's got five. Richardson's got seven. And the slaughter of the Lion in their last game in Melbourne continues. Yes, and five wonder Benny Gale. It's been a terrific effort to, uh, to get those kicks straight and great for his confidence. Just to put that ball through straight over the top of the umpire's head. And he's done very well. Fitzroy have not scored in this quarter. Chandler ripped off the ball, but not before he gets the hand pass away. They maybe got a chance now. The mark not taken, but, well, it's going to be paid. Maybe a free kick for Brook. But the ball definitely hit the ground. Duncan Kellaway comes up looking somewhat remorseful, but there's nothing he can do about that. And Marty Worry has a chance to boot his third goal. Just his seventh game, Marty Worry. Three last year on debut. Four goals coming to this game. And this to break a run of 14 unanswered goals. Kicking from 40 metres, slightly stammering approach. You could forgive him for that. Uh, but he's got the goal. Oh, thank you, he says. <laughs> At last. And it looks as some of the Richmond players are saying to the goal umpire that they thought it went over the top of the goal post. See, the Fitzroy supporters are allowed five cheers today, aren't they, Ross? Yeah. Hey? That's a good mark in the end. Actually, yeah. control that, Sandy. Yeah. Yep. Quite hit the ground, yep. so good decision. Yep. In fact, I think Warriors kicked their last three. Would that be right, Malcolm? I think you're right. Back in the centre. Oh, Rendell hoiks it out of the air. Campbell gets blocked out of it. Three, four Richmond uh, Fitzroy players come at it. Brett Chandler holds him up. So we'll have a bounce. Very close to the original after that Marty Worry goal. Oh, that's a free kick, surely. Well, Primer still ended up with it. Charles went early. Here's Gale running off the back line. The handball hits Campbell. He's running. Goes onto his left side. Kicks off. The ball bounces Ooh. up awkwardly for Richmond. And Marinda kicks it forward. Gale. Well, it's almost been a possession in the second half, hasn't it? It's either Richardson, if right, Richardson doesn't get your goal, does. Well, in the second half, Richmond at the moment has kicked 14 goals four to Fitzroy's one goal two. So, yes, you're pretty well spot on. And this will be, if he kicks this, it'll be 11 out of 15 two in the second two. half. For Richardson and Gale, and he has done that, so he's kicked his six. Someone once said to me, Ross, you should never miss these sorts of games and never miss the party, and uh, they do your stats enormously good throughout the year. Oh, yes, and it's always, uh, it is no question, good for uh, confidence, no matter what time of the year. If you can get players into a form and uh, get some good touch, no matter what uh, the game is, it's very important. And marking like that under those conditions uh, is always a great confidence booster, particularly for someone who does rely on his marking so much, like Brendan Gale. Well, Fitzroy has six and a half minutes of football left to play in Melbourne as a club. Tate at the bottom of the pack. 
has good support from Bowden. Started on the bench, has done well. Sullivan chops his way through and he does it beautifully. Broderick finishing as he started. Just pops it over the top. He needs someone going past. No, he doesn't. He blazes away, Matty Richardson. Knights is lurking back there. He needs a Shane worn spin, but he doesn't get it. And see the high. He's just gesturing too to uh, Matty Richardson not to kick the ball like that. Yeah. Richardson was going for goal. He should very well just put that in the path of Matty Knights. Martin Pike. Off towards Dent. Now Baldwin. Drifts it in towards Boyd in the centre. He runs through the middle now. They get it down to half forward. Can McCarthy take a mark? No, he can't. And this defence, gee, they've been good. Tawny and Co. Sullivan gives it away to Tape. And Jamie Tape runs to the outer side as they make another change. I think it's Bond coming back on, isn't it, Ross? Yes, it is. Charles towards off. Full forward. Gale this time couldn't take it, but a socket straight to Campbell, and he will kick a goal. So Wayne gets his first, his 15th for the year. Now what's that? What's his? The 10th goal kicker. So it's good to see them sharing that around. And as we mentioned, Bond has come off to replace Charles. He's having a breather. So Ben Harrison will be the uh, centre bounce Ruckman for Richmond. As the clearing soccer comes to Campbell, who just pops his through under a little bit of pressure. Yeah, it's interesting move this Harrison has to wait. You'd think Primus will win it and he does. But uh, the Richmond midfield was good then. Put up Sullivan. Has to run onto it. Does that nicely now. Comes back inside Pike. Oh, it does a handball. This. Then kicks from 48 metres. And it is absolutely raining goals for the Tigers. Uh, don't tell me that's number 11, Ross. Oh, hang on. Just let me get my abacus, Sandy. No, it's even important too for players like Sullivan, Powell, Bowden, just to get involved in this game, Harrison, and just give themselves a chance to be looked at uh, selection in the closing weeks of the season. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see who's uh, to come back in. Daffy, possibly. Bullis, of course. Bullis, Bullis, yeah. maybe Howard. Yeah. Well, we're back in the middle once again. And it really is Fitzroy's worst nightmare as far as finishing in Melbourne. It's the absolute last thing they wanted. Atkins gives it off towards Dent, who can chip up towards uh, the half forward line. Bamford towards the running Johnson. Now he can go on with it, and he likes these sort of challenges. Elects to go short, and there's a sensational attempt to mark by Callaway, and he pops back up again, is in the thick of things. Tate lost it for a minute, gets it back again to Broderick, off to Kellaway, and they're out of trouble again. The hand pass from Bowden's going to be OK. Off to the little goal kicker, Sullivan. And they surge down the ground. Kellaway showing the way with Sullivan into Nash. Who's going to kick this one? Let's have a little raffle here. Miranda, 52 out. Richardson backing back into the pack. Sees it fly off to the side. And it goes out of bounds. A throw in in the right forward pocket. There's nearly 50,000 watching this last game of Fitzroy and Melbourne. Which is a pretty good crowd. Appeared to come in a bit late too, didn't it? I mean, most people yeah. just a leisurely Sunday in Melbourne. Great tap from Primus to Boyd. He's got his touches, Boyd. Not as clean as normal. Yeah. Powell kicks very high and a bit wide and only a point results. So it's pretty good kicking here from Richmond. 27-16, Fitzroy 5-5. Five, five. When you consider they started at 4-9 in the first quarter. Yes. Three and a half minutes left. Primus in the front. Nash waiting down. Oh, they handle it so quickly and it looks so good when it's all going beautifully for them. And it is now. Rogers should put this one away. But it's away to the right. It's his first blemish. I what think he day. was the catalyst for the start, too. I mean, he's the yeah. one that got them running. Three goals in that first quarter. 20 kicks, 10 marks. Almost losing his pants as Paxman. But gets a free kick. 
on that outer side. The sting is what sting was left in this side has certainly died out of it now. Harrison in front couldn't take the mark, had to try and beat a couple of them. Pike did well, he battled hard, but it didn't win the football in the end. Pat gave it away. Broderick bounces his way now, he should go. Going to have a shot from 47 metres. In fact, I think he's uh, trying for the centering kick. It's spooned towards goal. Looking around for a free kick was Benny Gale. To no avail. It's slammed into the side of the post and one behind. Interestingly, Sandy, that's their first rush point, which just shows you how much ball they've won on the full forward line. Incredible. You hardly ever see that in a game. Just one point. Great mark from Johnson from behind. So he's forced back. Looks forward. Kicks it high. Big fly wanted. No one can get hold of it. Now McCarthy taps it forward. Atkins needs a quick hand out wide to ball and does. Sets up Bamford. Here we go. Inside 50 now. Scotty Bamford kicks from 45 metres. And once again, the ball across to the white. White. <laughs> uh, particularly in this win. It's gone across to the right a lot. Actually, it's interesting. Despite the absolute drubbing they're getting, unless everyone here is a Richmond supporter, people are not leaving. So, which is a good thing. It'll be very nice if they would stay and say farewell to Fitzroy in a fitting manner. Atkins can have a shot or a short little chip. He elected the latter. It was a very poor option. Now he's got Jamie Tate wide. Has to beat Baldwin, and he does. I really like Tate. Over centre wing he goes. There's a line of them there. Richardson sweeps it in towards centre wing. The lookalikes, Harrison and Campbell are both there. Taken by the former. Here comes uh, Benny. No one in the square, so he can go back and let one go. He did think about it for a moment. Now... I need Ross's abacus almost. I think he's booted six and a half. So, and I think he fancies himself here to make it number seven. And this number 28 for the day. Kicking from 46 metres. Kicking to the left. And a point. Twenty-seven nineteen to 5-6. Dent plays the ball to himself. Then goes a lovely long kick. That's a lovely kick. And Malloy puts up his arms and takes a nice mark. Gives it off to Chandler. There's a player out wide in Bamford. The handball doesn't hit, but it sits up for him. He has to go inside and give it away. Miranda, Sullivan, and Kellaway. See, they've really done this a lot, haven't they, at the yeah. bow? Broderick just holds it up now. Now tries to deliver the ball into Richardson. He's got it. It's a courageous mark. Plays on quickly to Powell. Powell from 25 metres out has kicked another one. His third. And three goals in this last quarter to Robert Powell. And 28 goals. is a big score at any time of the year, Ross. But right now... It's not going to help them, with Sandy mentioned earlier about that half win that Hawthorne have, but perhaps against North next week. I mean, as you say, players getting confident. You can get overconfident, but I don't think they've done that, really. I don't think so, no. They've uh, continued to share the ball around. They haven't uh, finessed or been too flippant with the footy. Inside the last 20 seconds. Back in the middle, Johnson tries to tap it to Atkins, he succeeds, back to Primus, wouldn't it be nice if they could finish with a goal? To the half forward line, Richmond defence, well they're misers, they have other ideas, and Jamie Tate says, no way Jose, and he kicks towards centre wing and Richardson, there's the siren, as Richardson lets it go into the stands, the end has come in Melbourne for Fitzroy.
listening to the Richmond theme song, but it is uh, the Fitzroy flags that are flying as they say farewell. And isn't that nice to see all the players gathering in the centre of the MCG. They all know what it's about. surprised if there's some form of presentation as a cordon has quickly been rung up around these players it's quite emotional scenes really to see opposition players hugging each other it's, uh, Marty Worry chatting with uh, young David Burke but Richmond of course must look towards winning next week Fitzroy have one more journey to make. Shane, I just can't help but feel uh, they're so long Fitzroy thanks for the memories and uh, I guess that's all we've got now, the Fitzroy Football Club and you know those young fellas out there today, they've done it tough for the last 10 weeks or so, knowing that their football club was finishing. Let's yeah. go down to uh, sorry Malcolm, uh, the ground now fly, who have you got with you? I've got Matthew Richardson, Sandy Bit of the yips early in that first quarter, mate. What happened in those kicking for goal? Well, actually, I had a fair few shots of goal through the week, and I kicked badly, and I started off like that today, so I started to straighten it out towards the end, I suppose. Is there a bit of a reluctance to have a shot for goal? Because you missed a few, you were on to give a few off. Yeah, well, I was sitting a bit nervous, so I thought I'd better try and pass them off so the boys could make sure of them. What did Robert Wall say before the game? You knew that Fitzroy would be pumped up with emotion? Yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, they are their former players and they're down, so we just wanted to make sure we got the four points. And our theme before the game was to get some confidence and form going into North next week and hopefully take on Brisbane in the final if we can. Did Walls mention before the game about Fitzroy's last game? Was that a point in the pre-match address at all? Um, yeah, it was to a certain extent. You know, it's been pumped up in the press through the week, so all the players had that on their mind. But we knew if we just did what we did last week against Geelong, we could get the four points today. So it must be very good for the confidence, beating Geelong and kicking their butts last week, but also today, whipping Detroit going to next week's game against North. Yeah, well, that's what we were aiming to do. We had a good win last week, continued it on today, and got to beat North now next week. How do you feel about your own form? Yeah, it's been up and down, I suppose, this year, so I was glad to get a few touches today. You kicked seven, about about 20 marks. Congratulations, sensational effort. Well done. Thanks, Russell. Well, these are great scenes here with Fitzroy getting a standing ovation from Richmond supporters who have joined in the Fitzroy theme song. And you can't help but be moved by what is taking place at the moment. Yes, particularly when you think some of the battles, Ross, over the years that we've had against Fitzroy, they had their good times. Yeah. They've had a lot of tough times. And it's taken 100 years for them to finally succumb to the pressures, I suppose, of, of the modern football as we know it here in yeah, AFL. Been great respect paid to them too by everyone here, which is just yeah. outstanding. Sandy mentioned the last five minutes, uh, it appeared as if no one left, and uh, rightly so, they've stayed there just to make sure they pay their last respects as such. And it was also great to see the Richmond players applaud the uh, Fitzroy group as they ran past, as well as the Richmond uh, match committee and uh, respective people. They're going to be careful here now. They're going to lose control here now because a couple have started running onto the ground now, a couple of hundred have, and Richmond on this side of the ground on the side. That's it, boys. We've done our bit. Let's get off. We've got a game next week. And there are hundreds of fans streaming towards these Fitzroy players and this is where things can get rather dangerous. Yeah, I'm not so... It can, Sandy, I agree with that, but I'm not certain that... Uh, it will. It yes, will. the motion of the day yeah. and... Uh, I mean, they're their heroes today. They're the Fitzroy players of today and I don't think anyone in their right mind would do anything to well, touch hope. them. No, no, you'd hope. And uh, I think it's just fitting tribute for a club. I mean, it's sorry, isn't it? You just think of a hundred years, it's just gone walk past our door. And they've got to go to Fremantle next week. And there was a fair argument for them to play this last game in Melbourne. I thought they may have done it. It wasn't to be. So this is the way the Melbourne fans that have followed Fitzroy. I guess a lot of other people, 50,000 people, a lot of Tiger supporters here, but there was a lot of noise for Fitzroy. And uh, I must admit, I'm, it is a sad day in footy. And uh, unfortunately, we had those changes. That's well on the way now. And history, 100 years of it. Hopefully he hasn't walked out the door. Hopefully we can all tell our grandkids and pass on the memories of the great warriors from Fitzroy. Yes, 113 years, in fact, they've survived. But 
What a tough run they've had of late, losing 34 out of 35 games. And now thousands of fans have gathered around the team who are slowly but surely leaving the MCG for the final time. The final scoreline here then on Fitzroy's final game at the MCG. They were belted out of the park. So long to the tune of 28 goals, 19, 187. Dumped by 151 points. Fitzroy, 5, 6, 36.